This video tutorial will explain the download, install, and setup of the HIPAA Claim Master. We will start with the download by going to the website. Under Products, select 837 Claims, then go straight to Download Trial. You will need to fill out a short form, which I will do here. Now that I've completed the form, I have to slide the lock open to prove that I'm human, then click Download. Here I am presented with two choices, a 32-bit and a 64-bit version of HIPAA Claim Master. If you are not sure which operating system you have, you can go to Start, Computer, right-click, then choose Properties. You will see under System Type your operating system. In my case, a 64-bit so I will download the 64-bit version of HIPAA Claim Master. I click on Download here. You can see the download happening here. I get a warning that is normal and choose of course to keep this file. Now I click on the downloaded file and I see the content of the zip file. There are two files. One is called Setup and the other is the Microsoft Installer Engine. This is to check that your system has all of the necessary requirements to install the HIPAA Client Master. So now I click on Setup. I click Run. Then I can see that a prerequisite that is needed is not installed. So I then click on Install to install the Visual C++ 2010 runtime libraries. I then click the box next to having read and accepted the license terms. Next, click Install, then the installation will be complete. Now that the prerequisite is installed, we can start the HIPAA Claim Master wizard. I click Next. You can use the default installation directory folder and leave everybody checked, assuming that everyone can use HIPAA Claim Master on this computer. Then click Next. Then Next again. Then finally click Close with the box checked next to Launch the Claim Master. When it launches, we will choose in this case to try it. Before we try it, I want to point out the registration number. You see it here. As soon as I mouse over it, I see the option to copy it or to ask for an extension of my trial. If you click on this, a pop-up will allow you to create an email to ask for an extension. Now I click Try and see the Claim Master. I click on File, Open Sample File, and here are two files. I choose one and double click it and then click Run and here you can see the document. This is a hospital claim and you can see the complete form. If I click on Additional Info you can see additional claim information including the billing provider's taxonomy code, attending provider, 
Operating physician. Patient estimated amount due. And covered days. I can go back to see the claim image and by clicking Next Claim I can see one after the other. This is the basic capability of the HIPAA Claim Master. I can also open an EDI file. To those unfamiliar with this kind of file, it can look complicated, however this is the file we just looked at but in RAW format. By clicking Run, it can be viewed in this familiar claim form image. By clicking Setup, then choosing Claim Forms, we can see different versions of the claim forms, Dental, Professional, and Institutional Claim Forms. Under Setup, by choosing Options, you can choose what to do with processed files. Leave them in place or move them after processing. You can also keep a log. Under Print Additional Pages, if you print it to paper or later to an image file, you can choose to print the Additional Info page and the COB page. You can also choose the document color on the screen and on paper to be red or black. We leave this information as it is and click on Cancel. And this concludes this tutorial on the HIPAA Claim Master.